Are those puppy eyes tempting you to share your snack? Wait! Some foods we love can be harmful to our furry friends. From the surprising to the well-known, join us as we uncover the 15 foods you should never feed your pets. Stick around to discover the most dangerous one. You might even be shocked. Let's kick things off with a common misconception. Milk and dairy products. While they're staples in many households, pets, especially adult ones, often lack the enzyme lactase, lactase, making them lactose intolerant. Consuming dairy products can lead to gastrointestinal upset, which leads to symptoms like diarrhea and vomiting. Now we move on to salty snacks which I absolutely love, but these tasty treats might be irresistible to us, especially me, you know, but for our pets, they can be quite dangerous. High salt content in foods can lead to sodium ion poisoning, causing symptoms like excessive thirst and urination, vomiting, and diarrhea. Moving on, let's discuss citrus. Well, we may enjoy the refreshing taste of oranges and lemons. I wish I could have those trees here, but I don't right now. Parts of these fruits can be harmful to our furry friends. Ingesting large amounts of citrus can cause central nervous system depression in pets, leading to symptoms of nausea and diarrhea. Well, corn on the cob. Now, Let's address a seemingly innocent snack, corn on the cob. You've seen videos of cats nibbling on corn on the cob, but while they're delicious for us, the cob poses a risk for, of intentional blockage for our pets, which can be life-threatening. So it's crucial to keep the corn cobs away from our pets. Avocados. I love avocados in guacamole, on toast, etc. And it's a superfood for humans, but not so much for our pets. Avocados have a thing called peptin, pepsin, so avoid feeding it in any form to our pets. I'll have to look that up again because I don't remember. Well, macadamia nuts. Let's talk about macadamia nuts. They're a tasty snack for us, but toxic specifically for dogs. These nuts can cause symptoms like weakness, hyperthermia, vomiting, and tremors. While the precise toxin remains unidentified, the effects can undeniably are adverse and quite severe. After a trip to Hawaii, I shared macadamia nuts with Puddles not knowing they're toxic to dogs. The next day, she showed frightening symptoms resembling paralysis. And it was a reminder and a wake-up call that what's good for us may not be good for them. Puddles crossed the Rainbow Bridge years later, unrelated to this incident, but her story underscores our duty to keep our furry friends safe. Now, a lot of people already know about grapes and raisins, but they're healthy snacks for humans because I love Raisin Bran, uh, not so much grapes, but um, they're healthy for humans, but they can cause acute kidney failure in dogs, even in small amounts. The exact me mechanism is unclear, but it can lead to vomiting, diarrhea, and kidney damage. Now, moving on, let's discuss onions, and garlic. While they add flavor to our meals, they can cause gastrointestinal irritation and lead to red blood cell damage in pets, resulting in anemia. This applies to all forms, whether cooked, raw, or powdered. So it's best to keep them away from our furry friends. Now, let's talk about fruits like persimmons, peaches, and plums. While the fruits themselves may seem harmless, the pits pose a significant risk of intestinal obstruction and also contain cyanide, posing additional toxicity risk beyond the potential 
for physical blockage. Okay, number six, cherries. Was I even counting this down? Anyways, a treat for us, but potentially dangerous for our furry companions. Besides the gastrointestinal upset caused by the fruit itself, the pits can also contain cyanide, making them particularly hazardous and ingesting pits can lead to cyanide poisoning on top of the risk of intestinal blockage. So number five, fatty foods. Indulging our pets in fatty fried foods can have dire consequences. Take it from my experience with puddles who suffered pancreatitis after Thanksgiving dinner thanks to some fatty treats. Basically, I fed her a lot of turkey skin. She experienced symptoms like vomiting and diarrhea, made us go to the vet. It wasn't an emergency room visit, but it was serious enough concern that she needed treatment from her awesome vet. So with Easter approaching and tempting dishes like ham on the menu, it's crucial to remember the risks. Pancreatitis comes with symptoms like diarrhea, vomiting, and abdominal pain. And it's not good for pets because, well, you know, fatty stuff. So number four, xylitol. It's highly toxic to pets, especially dogs, and is found in sugar-free products like gum, candies, and low sugar peanut butter. Even small amounts can cause rapid insulin release, leading to low blood sugar and in severe cases, liver failure or death. Keep them out of reach from pets because they're harmful and make sure to protect your pets from this. Now, moving on to caffeine. It's a stimulant found in coffee, tea, and energy drinks. And you know what? I drink all of them. Although I'm trying to cut back on my coffee. But even small amounts can be fatal for your pet, including symptoms like restlessness, rapid breathing, heart palpitations, and muscle tremors. It's best to keep caffeine-containing beverages out of reach out of our furry companions. Number two on the list is chocolate, especially dark chocolate. It's one of the most dangerous foods for pets. For a tiny chihuahua, one ounce of dark chocolate can be fatal. With Easter on the horizon, chocolates and sweets become even more accessible when, you know, pets can sniff out Easter baskets or, you know, uh, treats that you have around the house. So they can have tremors, seizures, especially in small dogs. So keep those baskets away from them and keep the celebration safe for everyone. So I have my treats right here. So lastly, let's talk about alcohol. It's extremely dangerous for your pets, even in small amounts. It can cause vomiting, diarrhea, and depression, including difficulty breathing, coma, and death. So keep it away from our furry friends. Well, you know, Raymond, my tuxedo cat, he is the pickiest eater in the world, but surprisingly developed a fondness for beer, especially Corona. I learned this the hard way when I found him sniffing from a can I had left out. It was a wake-up call for me to be more cautious about what I leave within his reach. Cuddle's experience with macadamia nuts and turkey skin were wake-up calls. These ingredients highlighted the unexpected dangers lurking in the foods we often take for granted. Vigilance and knowledge are our best tools in preventing these scary situations. Now, many years later, I check to make sure everything that goes in my pet's mouths are safe for them. These antidotes serve as reminders that even foods we enjoy can pose serious risks to our pets. As Easter approaches, let's remember to keep our furry friends safe by avoiding feeding them ham, turkey skin, and other rich fatty meats. And if you're unsure about whether a food is safe for your pets, 
consult your vet. And don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel, Thrive and Pause, for more valuable information on pet wellness and safety. Together, let's ensure our pet stays healthy and happy for years to come. Now, this is actually for my sister's Easter basket, but it's calling my name. I won't eat it since it's only a few weeks from Easter. And so's this. And it's actually in an area that Raymond can't get or Kiki, my other cat. But thank you for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye.